Hey everyone, my name is Jessie Jennings and I'm a content creator here at Plaid and welcome to Craft Break. Today I have some really exciting new formulas to share with you. We're going to be talking all about our brand new Mod Podge formulas for this year. So we've got several here, they all do really different things, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I want to talk about is our Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe Glitter. So just like the name says, you can put this formula in the top rack of your dishwasher um, and it won't harm the product at all. So you can see here, we did a really cute tumbler. We put this cute little heart on it. We did this in celebration of the Barbie movie. So we've got our pinks in here, make it nice and sparkly. But like I said, you can't put this in the top rack of your dishwasher. So normally when we say, um, when we craft things, we say if you make it by hand, you should wash it by hand. But this is an exception to that rule. So um, it's really easy. You don't have to worry about washing it separate from the rest of your dishes and your tumblers or wine glasses or whatever it is that you're putting it on. Uh, it's super easy to clean. So I'm gonna do a little demo to show you how it brushes out. So I've just got a wine glass here and I'll grab my glitter. This is what the bottle looks like. So super sparkly. Um, and this formula comes in gold. So I'm gonna open it up and grab one of my little Mod Podge brushes. And you can see when you brush it out um, onto your glass or your wood or whatever it is that you happen to be painting it onto, um, just like most of our Mod Podge formulas, it comes out milky, but it's gonna dry super, super clear. So it's got that Mod Podge base and it's gonna keep all that glitter inside the base, which is awesome because I love sparkle as much as the next person, but I hate the mess of glitter. I hate that it gets everywhere. It ends up like on my face and on my clothes. Um, but this, the, the base keeps it right in there, so it's absolutely no mess, which is really nice. You get that sparkle without the mess. So like I said, you would keep painting this on, um, and it does have that milky base, just like most of our Mod Podge formulas. But when it dries, you get this super crystal clear finish. So this is it dried. Um, you can see all you see is the glitter. You don't see any of that Mod Podge base. Um, so it's really, really beautiful, and I can stick this in the top rack of my dishwasher and I don't have to worry about it. Do you mind lifting it up to the camera? Yeah, absolutely. I should also mention, as always, we have Caitlin here moderating, so if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to pop those in the chat and Caitlin will answer them or relay them to me. And where can we buy these new products? You can buy these new products on platonline.com. so make sure to go check that out. We've got all of these new Mod Podge formulas there for you to purchase. Isn't that beautiful? It is. There, okay. So that is our Mod Podge dishwasher safe. Do we have any questions about that, Caitlin? Nope. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna move on to the next one. Um, this is a really fun one too. This is a new one to the Mod Podge line um, and it's called Mod Podge Crackle. So I'll show you here. Here's the two ounce version, but it of course also comes in the eight ounce. So the two ounce comes with this nice little brush, which makes it really easy. You have everything you need right in this package. Um, and just like the name of the product says, you can use this to crackle your craft projects. So here's two frames that we did um, using our Mod Podge Crackle. We just use a regular original formula, whether it's gloss or matte or satin. Um, we decoupaged these images into the frame. And then you just apply one thick coat of the Mod Podge Crackle right on top of it. That's all you do. And you let it sit and it cracks. So I'll hold one of these up to the overhead so you can see the detail but you can see all those little crackles in it isn't that pretty so it's great for like that really vintage look um, to make things look old and weathered when they're not really if that's kind of your aesthetic and your home decor you have more of like a vintage feel you can make new projects that fit right into your home um, with Mod Podge Crackle and another example um, of how to use this product that I can show you guys is that you can see this one is on a lighter um, background and this one's on a darker background. And then we went in with some thinned down paint to kind of make those cracks pop. So we decoupaged our picture down, then we applied our Mod Podge Crackle and let it dry so you can see all those beautiful cracks. And then we applied some thinned down paint and wiped it away. And that really brings out that crackled texture. So that is our another one of our brand new products that we have in the Mod Podge family this year. That's Mod Podge Crackle. And again, you can purchase that on plaidonline.com to crackle all of your beautiful Mod Podge projects. Okay. So the next project I wanna talk about um, is another really fun one. Like I said, the ones I'm gonna be talking about today are all super different. They all do really different things. So we're kind of bouncing around a little bit. Um, this one is our diamond top coat. So for you diamond art lovers out there, um, it's a super trendy craft product to use right now, um, making these beautiful diamond mosaic paintings. This is a really great product because it seals your diamond painting. So 
you can see here, I've already popped off a little gem here. Our product, because it's not sealed yet, our product, our diamond um, top coat, you, just like it says, you seal your diamond paintings with it and it keeps all of your little um, jewels and gems from popping off. So I can show you how to use this one too. Let me put this one back on so we don't lose it. Put in a little of our top coat and then put our gem right back in. So now that I see, once I seal this, these little gems will not pop out anymore. And another great thing about this product is that you can see this one goes on super clear. It never takes away that beautiful gloss finish of our diamond projects, of this beautiful diamond artwork. So once you've made these, you know that it takes a lot of time to do. Um, it takes a lot of time um, and it, they're really meticulous. And once you spend so much time on a craft project like this and you end up with something so beautiful, you wanna protect it. So you can purchase this diamond top coat and just put a nice even coat over your artwork and it keeps all of your gems in place and it protects it and it keeps it really shiny. How long does the glitter Mod Podge need to dry for? Um, I usually like to let it cure before I put it in the dishwasher, um, but it will dry to the touch within one to two hours. Okay, what about the other ones? Um, same for the other ones, I would say. Our Mod Podge tends to dry pretty quick. Um, this one dries pretty fast. I would say, again, one to two hours for our diamond top coat. For the crackle, it may take a little bit longer, and the reason it takes a little bit longer is because you have to apply it really thick. So you can see here when I'm applying this, I'm just kind of doing like a nice even coat, just enough to cover the surface to protect our um, gems. But for the crackle, you're gonna wanna apply a pretty generous coat so you get those really deep cracks. If you apply a really thin coat, you'll get really tiny little fine cracks. And if you apply a thicker coat, you'll get those big deep ones like I showed you. Um, so that may take a little bit longer. That may take up to 24 hours to dry. Thank you. Sure thing. Okay, so you guys can see this. You can see how awesome this is. Um, especially, like I said, if you're a, a gem artist out there and you like making these beautiful mosaic art pieces, um, you're gonna wanna protect them because I'm sure you spent a lot of time and energy making these beautiful pieces of art. So that is our diamond top coat. And again, you can purchase this on platonline.com. Any questions on that one? Nope. Okay, cool. Okay, so just if you guys are just joining us, we're talking about our brand new Mod Podge formulas for 2023. Uh, we've talked a little bit about our Mod Podge um, dishwasher safe glitter, which of course is like the name is glitter you can use in the dish, you can, is safe to use in the dishwasher. Um, we talked about our diamond top coat that protects your beautiful diamond art. And we've also talked about our Mod Podge crackle so you can get really awesome antique crackle effects on all of your Mod Podge and decoupage projects. The next one I'm gonna talk about is our Mod Podge Super Matte. So this might be one of my favorite ones because um, this product is just, it kind of goes in line with our original Mod Podge formulas. So of course we have our gloss, our matte and our satin. And this one, um, it does the same things as our original formulas, but it is super duper ultra matte. And you might be wondering why we have matte and ultra matte or super matte I should say. And that's because this one was made to work really well with finishes like our chalk paint. So if you guys are DIYers or you just love our folk art home decor chalk paint, um, this is the Mod Podge for you. Because as you can see here, you can Mod Podge, um, you can decoupage napkins or papers or anything like that, tissue paper, and right over your chalk paint and it does not affect the finish at all. So even the matte um, formula of our Mod Podge has a tiniest bit of a shine. It's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's shiny for sure, it's definitely matte, but it's not as chalky and matte as our chalk paint. So this matte takes it a, a step further. It's super matte, so it looks great with our Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint. You can see here there's absolutely no sheen to that whatsoever. So I'm gonna show you how this one works too. I've got a little mason jar here that I've painted with our um, Home Decor chalk paint. And I've got some napkins here that we cut out. So these are just some napkins um, that I cut out. They're little butterflies. And I, of course, removed the plies from the napkins to make sure that they don't bubble. And I'm gonna grab my brush here. Make sure it fits it. And then I'm gonna grab my super mat. And just like you would apply any other um, napkin whenever you're decoupaging with napkins, you're gonna put a thin coat onto your surface. And then you're gonna take your napkin and you're gonna apply it. Gently press it down with your fingers so it doesn't tear. And then you can smooth it out with your brush. And like I said, just like all of the rest of our formulas, or I should say most of our Mod Podge formulas, it does go on milky. 
but when it dries, it'll be crystal clear and all you'll see is that napkin and you'll also see that beautiful chalky finish coming through. So this is a really, really, really great product to use. Um, I just like matte too. That's kind of my preferred um, sheen when I'm crafting. I don't like things to be super glossy. That's just the way I like things in my home and in my crafting. So I'm super excited about this one because you get that really beautiful matte finish in all of your projects. You have no sheen whatsoever. Put on another butterfly or two. And again, I'm just pressing it down gently. If you press it down too hard or you're too quick with it, um, you can tear the napkin, which you don't want to do. You want to make sure the napkin stays intact. So I'm just gently using my finger to press it down and to kind of mold it into that shape. And then I'm going to seal it with some more Mod Podge Super Matte. And then once this dries, you can apply another coat um, to protect your napkin if you want to, but you don't have to since we kind of have that top coat um, added as we're going. It's up to you. For extra protection, you can. And then like I said, once this dries, you're going to get that beautiful matte finish. You're not going to see the difference between the Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint and the napkin. It's all going to look like one. So this looks like it was hand painted, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I yeah. think it's so pretty. And this is just a napkin that we cut out and Mod Podged onto this vase. This is one of my favorite projects. I love this one. And then here, I'll show you this one too. This is just a little home decor piece and we took some cardstock and Mod Podged it onto this pretty little um, just shelf piece with our uh, Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint. Another really pretty one. Very farmhousey. Okay. So we have one more product to talk about that is brand new in our Mod Podge family for 2023. And that is our um, Mod Podge Puzzle Saver. So you guys may think, oh, we already have Mod Podge Puzzle Saver. We've been using that for years, which is true. But now we have a matte version. So our normal Puzzle Saver um, comes in gloss only. So we've introduced matte into the family. So now um, if you're a puzzle lover, um, you can protect all of your puzzles and your memories with your family using our Mod Podge Puzzle Saver. And you can have it in a gloss version or a matte version to hang on your wall and protect your beautiful works of art. So here's a tiny puzzle. You can see here we framed it, but um, this is a great way to protect, like I said, those memories um, of fun times you've had with your family, putting together puzzles. You don't have to get rid of it when you're done. You can seal it with our Mod Podge Puzzle Saver, hang it on the wall, keep it forever so you can always remember um, those fun times together. So. Not only do we have it in gloss, but now we have it in our brand new matte formula as well. So guys, I hope you had fun learning about all of our brand new Mod Podge formulas for 2023. I know it was a lot. I know they do all different kinds of things. So make sure to check out platonline.com slash Mod Podge to see our new formulas and to purchase any of those there. And if you don't have any questions, I think we're, we're finished. Yep, we're good to go. Awesome. Thanks, Caitlin. All right, guys, we'll be back here next Tuesday for another craft break um, and Wednesday.